This stage marks the beginning of a new Battle Royale player's journey. After exploring the main game and reaching the maximum level, they decide to try out a game mode called Battle Royale. Eager to explore this new mode, they find themselves facing the challenges and unfortunately meet their demise as the player engages whoever they see, regardless of their loot quality, leading to unexpected challenges and defeats. Let's try this game mode called Battle Royale. Wow, this map is looking great. Let's jump off this floating boat. Let me loot my first chest real quick. Oh my Bro, what the? Bro, what did I do? Man, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. In this stage, the player discovers additional elements within the game mode, such as the lucky zone. He finds out that it gives good loot and items. Eager to explore, they attempt to loot the shiny chest. However, unaware that this area is an early battlefield, most players tend to be loot hoggers, unwilling to let anyone pass if they catch them opening a chest with good loot. Let's try jumping in this place called Lucky Zone. I hear to give good loot. Oh wow, is it a legendary chest? Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Go what? Oh my god, this kid is meat riding me again. Bro, there's a star gun there too. Man, this game is bad. The player managed to reach the final circle, but unexpectedly gets taken down by a legendary fruit user. Unaware of how powerful legendary fruits can be in the final circle, the player learns that having one eaten is the key to winning the game. Finally, after all those defeat, I finally reached final circle. Time to win this game. <laughs> In stage four, the player returns to the lucky zone, gets a legendary fruit, but things go wrong in the final circle when they meet a more superior fruit, showing them that not all legendary fruits are great for the end of the game and end up getting clapped. Yo, legendary chest. Bruh. Yo, I got sin, let's go. Time to clap some kids. In the last match, the player faced a crushing defeat at the hands of a legendary fruit user. Determined to adapt, they decide to seek an alternative method and use the current meta using the Bari Bari fruit. Using this strategy, he secure victory for the first time in the game without any legendary fruits needed. Oh no, Amira. I'm dead. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Ha <laughs> ha it win. During this stage, the player becomes the most sweatiest player in Battle Royale. The player will keep using the Bari and try his hardest to get a fruit such as Mira, and he also sweat to get a fighting style such as Rokushiki. As Rokugan is such a useful ult for Final Circle, they simply don't have the neurons of playing normally and just spam the E key every single fight they get into. These players just generally spam their Barry Sphere when they see people that are fighting and just trap people when the zone is close to them. For Final Circle, they are the most annoying enemy to fight with. 
because they will only hold their berry sphere or their berry walls. So if you don't have a good fruit, and if you met one of these people in Final Circle, you are most likely dead. You never see it come back. This player has achieved what they dreamed of for months, evolving into an absolute unit in the game. They can practically hard carry you in duos, and perhaps even in squads, I presume. Consistently ranking in the top 20 solos on the leaderboard, this player has truly become a force to be reckoned with in the Battle Royale arena. This stage marks the pinnacle of sacrifice. Players sacrifice their time, health, hygiene, and even sleep for the pursuit to get number one in the leaderboard. Many falter at this grueling stage, for it demands an extraordinary commitment. People in this stage end up spending a lot of time in the game, inadvertently giving for you more money. Most of these players don't even know what grass is and their parents grown tired of them due to not leaving their room.